Ladies and gentlemen, welcome in to another rendition of a top 10 movies list. And guys, I am going today with the top 10 most disgusting, disturbing movies of all time going from number 10 to number one. The budgets for these movies don't matter. Throw them out. It's not about the budget. It's not about the acting. I am going with just the absolute most just disturbing movies that I've seen, ladies and gentlemen. These truly are some of these. They just, I wouldn't recommend watching them. You know, I always say at least watch a movie once. Some of these movies, they really test that theory. Let's start with number 10. We're going with The Human Centipede 3. Okay, and you know, there's going to be another Human Centipede on here. I'm not going to talk about it yet, but the third rendition of The Human Centipede. We all know what The Human Centipede is. The original one, it's not on my list. Um... You know, it was disgusting, but the third one, it's at a jail with about, I don't know, some five or six hundred prisoners participate in it. It's, I mean, it's disgusting. It was on Netflix. It was on Netflix. The Human Centipede 3 was, I don't think the other two were, but we all know the concept, obviously. I don't have to explain it. Um, and yeah, I mean, who thinks of something like that? You know, the first one, okay, we can live with the first one, but the other two... Oh my god, the third one is there's like 400 people involved, I don't know. Moving on to number 5, The Hills Have Eyes, the 2006 version. So not the second one, not the original one. The 2006 version, The Hills Have Eyes, is my number 9, at my number 9 spot. spot. And there are some truly, truly disturbing scenes in this movie. I don't know, you know if a lot of people have seen this or not. It's kind of a little bit of a big movie. Um... Kind, kind of known, kind of not known, but it is disgusting. I, I do remember a vivid scene that is just brutal. Anytime you have these people that are like, you know, they're disfigured from nuclear, you know, stuff and they live in the hills, it's just disgusting. And there are some really nasty scenes from it. Moving on to number eight, we have The Green Inferno. Now, this one actually is on Netflix. Believe it or not, it is on Netflix. It's a cannibal movie. And it's, I mean, really graphic. There's a lot of, especially at the beginning, there's a lot of disgusting, disgusting scenes after they crash. And then they get taken to the place. The dude gets chopped up all of his arms, his legs. The Green Inferno, if you're interested in it, it is on Netflix. I think it's still on Netflix. It's been on Netflix for a while. Uh, but it is a cannibal movie and it is disgusting. Moving on to number seven, we have a Serbian film. And normally when you get... To lists like this, you're always going to see this movie. It's pretty much on all of the most disgusting movies lists. Uh, it was made, and this is what I was looking for, it was made to be disturbing. And this movie is 100% disturbing. Um, there's really not much I can say about it. Um, the only lists you will find this movie on are lists like this. That's it. There's no other list this movie could be on. When it comes to the most disturbing, most disgusting, most despicable movie... This movie is going to be on these lists. That's it. Like, like, like anytime you talk about this movie, it's going to be referenced as disgusting, as disturbing. That's the only time I've ever, I've ever seen this movie get brought up ever. And I've only seen it once. I've only seen it once. Moving on to number six, we have Aftermath, which is a Spanish short film. And the, <laughs> I'm sure not a, lot of, not a lot of people know about this one. I've only seen it once. When I, I used to always search disgusting movies just because I found it interesting. You know, I used to search for them. And this one, it's about an individual, what happens to your human remains after you die. And an individual has a little bit of a fetish with the human remains after someone dies and violating people's dead corpse. I don't want to get into it. I, you know, who thinks of this stuff? I, 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 I don't know. But that is Aftermath. It's not the one with Arnold Schwarzenegger, right? You know, the, the, the main dude in Human Centipede looks like Arnold Schwarzenegger, Schwarzenegger. He does. Look him up, guys. He does. And I think he's in the third one, too. He's not in the second one. Thank God. We're going to talk about the, the second Human Centipede here in a little bit. But uh, All right, guys. Moving on to number five. It is Begotten. And I'm sure a lot of people don't know what this movie is. I looked this up on Wikipedia because I wanted to read off the first sentence of the plot to this movie. And this is the first sentence, word for word. It says, uh, inside a small shack, a robed figure dubbed God Killing Himself in the film's credits disembowels himself using a straight razor. After removing some of his interior organs, the character dies. 
these movies, I, I, I don't know, it's just, uh, there's issues, there's issues, you really gotta look into the mental state of some of these directors, guys, I mean, it's just, this movie, uh, look it up on YouTube, I think it is on YouTube, runtime, 72 minutes, oh my goodness, I remember seeing this on one of the lists of most disturbing movies, and... Yeah, you want to talk about maybe the budget was $100. Half the, half the budget went to a dude buying a straight razor and uh, deciding to uh, cut open his intestines because that's great for, that's a great movie. Yeah, you got to look at it. These guys, they should be seeing therapists or something. Uh, it's ridiculous. Um, moving on to number four, we have another cannibal movie. It is Cannibal Holocaust. And it is another one kind of like The Green Inferno. It's just... You know, your own, this is another movie. You're only going to see it on a list like this. You really are. This one's budget was a little bit higher than the previous couple we saw. Um, yeah, again, with the cannibals, it's it's tough to explain. It It's uh, it's tough to talk about. There are some photos. I Actually, I'm not allowed to share those photos. <laughs> I'm not allowed to share those photos. Guys, you can look them up for yourself. A Cannibal Holocaust is number four. Moving on to number three, we have 120 Days of Sodom. Now, this movie came out in 1977, and it's about abducting uh, young boys and girls and performing exper experiments on them. A, a group of older people abduct. The it's just, uh, it's, it's, again, you really have to start you lose faith in humanity when you see some of these these movies, when you see some of the, you know, written in detail. It's just, I've seen this movie only once, and I don't really recommend any, you know, you always want to see a movie at least once, but my God, I don't even know what to talk about, guys. Moving on to number two, we have The Hills Have Eyes 2. Now, the original Hills Have Eyes, the one that was, not the 1977 one, the 2006 one, was number nine on my list. Number two is The Hills Have Eyes 2. Um, and it's just, I mean, <laughs> yeah, I, there's just like rape and stuff. They like rape this woman and force her to have kids and stuff. I mean, uh, the problem is, is like these mutant people rape a girl. They're trying to like create offspring. Yeah, it's, it's worse than the first one. It is in terms of just disturbing. And then number one, the most disgusting, despicable, just worst movie when it comes to just pure evil disgust the human centipede 2 now the human centipede 3 was number 10 on my list this one by far this will ruin your day if you watch this movie i've seen this movie twice um it's just one of those where it's like you're almost you, you almost get angry at the director and producer and it's like dude i mean what are you coming up with here i mean this is just it's just i mean the 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 the, the lead dude who's like this fat you know, pedophile looking like dude with glasses. It's just, it's one of the, it, 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 I, I don't know. The Human Centipede 2, I think, if you're going to rank the Human Centipede series, the first one is is not terrible. The third one at the jail, again, it's disgusting. It's a bigger centipede. But the second one, the, the second one with the dude, I mean, just with some of the stuff, it's just, I, I don't want to talk about it. It's one of those like, it will ruin your day if you watch it. Like, I remember watching it and my whole day was ruined from it just because it was so grotesque. Grotesque and disgusting. Um, another movie that I didn't include in my top 10, the Alien series. And here's the thing with the Alien series. I love the Alien series, uh, but the face huggers, those face hugger things, guys, I, um, I have a phobia against face huggers. Basically, I can't even search for the things. They are just so disgusting for me. I know people like... They can't look at spiders, things like that. I'm like that with face huggers. And I, they're really, it's a really cool idea and premise to get impregnate a human, you know, like that. It's definitely cool. I'm not saying it's not cool, but I just can't look at the things. They they disgust me. It's a phobia. And that's why I put it on a mention. I love, I'll watch the alien movies, but it's just seeing those things, guys. I can't search them on Google. They just, oh, they just disgust me. They disgust me, but guys... Those are the top 10 most disgusting, disturbing movies, just most evil movies. Some of these movies, just the plots. I mean, The Human Centipede 2, Aftermath, uh, the, several of these movies. It's just pretty much all of them, maybe except The Hills Have Eyes. The Hills Have Eyes did have a storyline, right, of like mutants and stuff. But all these other movies, I mean, like what's the point of it? I, I don't know, guys. Make sure you're following me on Twitter. Link to that's always in the description. Guys, I am, of course... 
They eat a pressed ginger. Thank you for watching.